Welcome back everyone, iOS 14.6 has officially came out, so let's take a look at it on the iPhone XR. Now as a whole, this is a fairly important update. There were a lot of cool things added, which I'm really happy about. You can see this update was about 584 megabytes on my XR, but on a lot of my other iPhones, it was around that same size too, unless you're coming from like iOS 14.2 or something like that. In that case, it could be a couple of gigs, like my iPhone 10 video, if you guys saw that. And there were a lot of cool features starting off. Apple Card got a little bit of an update. So now we can actually go ahead and share our Apple Card information, you know, in our Apple Card as a whole to our family members. So that's really cool. If you wanted to do that, you have that capability. The podcast app got a little bit of an update as well. AirTags is a massive update. So before, if you went ahead and used the NFC thing to just, you know, view the information of an AirTag, just by tapping the AirTag to the back, well, you could actually not see that information before, like not that much. Now you can actually go ahead and see a lot more information and the phone number associated with that AirTag, but kind of like only the first couple digits of that phone number, not the whole thing, just a little bit. So you can kind of get an idea of who owns that specific AirTag, if you can contact them, if you know them, whatever the case is, that's how you do it. On top of that, the accessibility feature, there's a little bit of an update. You can actually unlock your iPhone apparently with your voice on the first boot up. So if you restarted your iPhone and you want to go ahead and boot it back up without using Face ID, you can actually use your voice instead of your specific face or whatever. So I think that's cool. I'll make a separate video kind of explaining that. There were a ton of other bug fixes, a lot of improvements, you know, Bluetooth fixes as well. So as a whole, should you install this update on your iPhone XR? Well, I'm going to say 100% yes. This is a very solid update without a doubt. It brought a lot to the table. And I think for a Point X release, I think it's a pretty good update. You know, I think it brought a lot to the table. I think it's a good update. But I will tell you on the other hand, there's a lot of bugs that are going to be happening when you install the first, you know, like with iOS 14.5 and then 14.5.1. There are a lot of bugs. There's going to be things like that. So you can wait a couple of days and see how the consensus is for everyone. But I'm pretty sure this is going to be one of those updates that you can not miss and i think like i said before this has a lot to do with that air tag capability the fact that your air tag can now give you even more information about somebody on the 14.6 update is a very important thing and i think that's a crucial thing for almost all air tag owners or for anyone who supports 14.6 it's a very decent thing for sure the bug fixes and everything are awesome as well really the only reason i wouldn't recommend updating is if you want to jailbreak your phone if you're wanting to jailbreak then again staying on the lowest version is the best way to go but for everyone else i think this is a solid update and i would highly recommend updating for sure so in terms of that that pretty much covers it if you guys have any other questions or anything let me know in the comment section below hit the like button that would mean so much but definitely hit that subscribe button every single subscriber that we get really does count so it means so much if you guys can hit that also check out the other links down in the description as well my twitter my instagram my other channels more importantly everything else every single one of you guys hopefully i'll catch you guys in the next video peace out till then